Hi what's up everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the top best microphones for podcasting you can buy on Amazon. If you are new to this channel please consider subscribing to our channel and press the bell icon. You may wonder why the best podcasting microphones are so important. If you want to take advantage of the massive increase in podcasting, or if you've already done so, you'll need a good microphone. Podcasting has been extremely popular in recent years. It has become one of the most essential communications channels of the 21st century due to the simple act of voices narrating stories, conducting interviews, or teaching strange and beautiful things. This list is based on my personal opinion and research and lists them based on random numbering. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned be sure to check the links in the description below. So let's get started. On number 5 colon Samson Q2U. The Samson Q2U is the microphone that I always recommend folks start with. Being both XLR and USB, this is a very versatile little beast. It's also a huge improvement over a cheap headset mic or your internal microphone in terms of quality. Because it has two outputs, XLR and USB, you can connect it to your computer via USB and record to GarageBand or Audacity in the early days. Alternatively, utilize the USB microphone to make a Skype call or a Zoom conversation. Later on in your adventure, when you have a mixer or a good digital recorder, you can switch to XLR which is the same type of cable used by professional audio equipment. Another advantage is that you can back up your recordings by transmitting them to both locations. This means you'll still have a duplicate of your session if one of your devices fails or runs out of batteries. On number 4, ATR2100. The ATR2100 is a popular option that is quite similar to the ATR2100. However, there isn't much of a difference between the two, and the Samson is usually cheaper, so it comes down to personal preference. Another fantastic feature of these microphones is that they're perfect for going out and about and recording live audio interviews. Below is a link to a guide we wrote on the subject, as well as how the ATR slash Samson worked into the interview setup. On Nimbera the Rode Podcaster. The Rode Podcaster, a USB equivalent to the Rode Procaster, is my favorite among podcast mics at this price point. However, they're really hard to come by right now, so choose for its sister mic, the Rode NT-USB, which is a similar mic to the Pro-Level NT-1A we list below. The Rode Podcaster is a fantastic dynamic podcasting microphone. This is what we're currently using in our podcasting studio. When you include supports and a shock mount, the price jumps a little, but you'll notice a substantial difference if you compare it to any of the entry-level mics above. The Podcaster is a USB microphone similar to the Blue Yeti below, however it's a dynamic mic rather than a condenser. Look farther down the page to learn more about the differences. However, if you're not recording in a controlled environment, dynamic microphones are preferable. They take up less background noise and are more forgiving in a typical office or study, which is where most of us record. If you like the aesthetic of the Rode Podcaster but prefer an XLR mic for use with mixers or digital recorders, the Rode Procaster is a good option. On number 2 the Blue Yeti. The second item in this list is a USB condenser microphone which is one of the most often used podcast mics on the market. It's the Blue Yeti, of course, and it costs roughly £100, $100, note, currently lowered to less the last time I checked. Thanks to its condenser capsules, the Blue Yeti produces high-quality audio and is incredibly simple to use with a plug-and-play USB connection. However, one of the most significant advantages is the variety of recording patterns available. It has options for solo recording, face-to-face -face recording with two people, and group recording. As a result, it's adaptable to almost any situation. Keep in mind that you'll need to be close to the mic to get the greatest sound, so get comfy if you're recording two individuals or a group. Finally, the Blue Yeti comes with its own stand, making it an excellent initial step if you want to get into high-end gaming without having to bother about extras like stands. I've written about the Blue Yeti and its numerous accessories elsewhere, so feel free to read that article for additional details. The Yeti doesn't quite match the MXL990 or the Rode Podcast mics in terms of raw sound, but its ease of use and the fact that it's completely self-contained make it a strong contender at this price point. The Shure MV5 is definitely tickling our fancy if you want to look at another very similar alternative that we've been toying with recently. It's a little less expensive than the Yeti and much more portable. That is to say, unlike the Yeti, it does not feel like a brick in your luggage. On number 1, the Shure SM58. I have to mention the Shure SM58 podcast microphone workhorse in case you're seeking for a high-quality mic that's more portable. The SM58 is a handheld microphone that's most typically seen in the hands of a shouting lead singer at events. They can be dropped, beaten, and soaked and still work, 
making them ideal for anyone who prefers to record outside of the studio. For all of our in-person interviews, we use the Shure SM58 in conjunction with a Zoom H5 or Zoom H6 recorder, find out more about the setup here. If you want to take your mic on the road and have the money to buy a nice digital recorder, this is the option for you. It'll work just as well mounted on a stand in the studio when that's the best option. So guys this was the video about the best microphones for podcasting. Dot all the links are given in the description, do check them out. If you enjoyed the video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.